Well, we all hope you give you a better answer to the question. The people in the city of Revere that are in charge are trying to keep this quiet about this contaminated land. And I believe all the events that led up to this tank being removed out of this ground was done without permits, without the right EPA guidelines, with, without anything. I mean, and it all has to be done properly. Good day, folks. Uh, it appears that Clifford Pisano's position has been somewhat vindicated. It's clear that there were storage tanks on the subject property. You talked to Ace. Oh, yeah. Stacy Rubin. Okay, and did Ms. Rubin ever indicate to you that she had documentation? To yes, she her? did. She, we tried to get documentation from the city. We got the development plans. When she went to, to get paperwork, she has more pull and can get more paperwork in Boston than from the city. So she, she told him she got documents. And were these documents indicating that Gibbs Oil used to be? That's what yes. she said. She said that she could get prove that Gibbs Oil was there. There was documentation in town. Now, whether or not those storage tanks have been removed or you know, whether or not they're still there is another matter. You know, we're going to get into that in a moment. Now, they should still be there because the fire department told me that no one's come to pull them or anything of that nature, and they would have to you know, consult with them before you do that. So I'm presuming that those tanks are still there, and God knows what, if they've leaked or whatever. Interestingly enough, the soup kitchen was there for a while. It moved. Uh, then in 2000, the, uh, the storage facility people, they tried to put something up there, and that fell through for some reason. Uh, we don't really know why. Has the EPA done a study? I I saw a bunch of guys running out of there with orange shirts on. Right. I have no comment on that. Well, that's all right. I've got a comment. My observation is this. The only bill permit that was pulled uh, for this property was back in 2010 for the garage door and window egress, a window ramp and egress. Nothing about tanks or anything. No permitting done to remove tanks. Those tanks should still be there, okay? And uh, I want you to pay close attention to the bottom of this uh, excerpt right here because they said that they would give the project a clean bill of health or they would approve it if it got a clean bill of health but you know none of the due diligence has been done or if it has been done it, it's not reflected in the files that I viewed today at City Hall uh, anywhere I went I was at the planning office you know I, I went everywhere uh, clerk's office all that so you know something needs to be buttoned down here Here at KingCast.net, trying to complete our review on the 525 Beach Street property. I see at one point it was the soup kitchen, which is going to be interesting if it was contaminated. They left. Uh, we're going to find out why they left. And then there was a plan here in 2000, okay, that was approved. And uh, that was for storage of some kind, storage facility. Um, that, I don't believe, came to fruition either. Okay, you can see it there. So, um, The primary reason for going to the mayor's office today was to confirm the uh, resignations were requested from ZBA and licensing officials. That was not fully confirmed, actually. Take a listen. Oh, so the ZBA piece is something we don't, that, that will not be confirmed at this point. Yeah. Gotcha. See, I want to be clear because I've already reported, like I said, it was alleged. You know, so like, that's why I came out here so I get this straight because you can't be, I don't want to go off of alleged. Yeah. You know, so the two, two licensing are confirmed. Yeah, that's exactly because it would be serious if there was contamination there. I mean, that would. I mean, if they're gonna if they're gonna build on that, that'd be pretty serious, right?
you gonna do? That's that's revered. You know, hopefully things hopefully things change around here. We have a new mayor. Hopefully things change around here and they're not run the same that they've been run for the past decades.